Hi. In a previous video, I talked uh, about the USB microscopes or USB microscopes in general. And in that video, I told that uh, that I modified mine for greater working distance. And now I would like to show you how you can do it uh, with your microscope. These two parts are glued, and they used super glue. So what you do? You get your you get your knife and you stick the blade between these parting lines and then you work your way around and you basically uh, cut the glue and then if it still doesn't come off you can just turn it you may try a bit heating it and then eventually this cap just comes off like this it's just glued in place nothing fancy and afterwards you will see the circuit board board and the next thing probably you will see is some silicone glue they put a couple of dabs of silicone glue around the board to keep it in place and then you remove them I already removed them because I already worked made the one modification I said I'm not able to show you that step but you take the silicone glue and be careful not to remove any of the components you know not damaging the ways of the of the circuit board and yeah after we remove uh, the silicone glue you can see there are two solar joints here and here the next thing we will do is we will just melt these uh, solders and we can just lift the board up as you can see we got our board out and these are some connections and we have our CCD here some in my case my CCD was a bit dusty I had to blow it off blow the dust off and this is our circuit board and you can keep in mind these soldering joints uh, um, positive and negative because the you know the leads are working and leads needs to know which side is positive which side is the negative so you have to keep it in mind i have to warn it before you uh, before i take it off but uh, yeah i'm sorry now I warn you, so you have to take it into account that which side is positive, which side is negative, or you can also just take a look about these markings on them. So yeah, your circuit is board is out, and one thing, one thing I can warn you about is these these joints were terrible. Yeah, I'm not saying that my joints are better, but they were much prone to coming off before. They were not through the hole they were just soldered on the surface and most of the solder joints were actually cold cold joints so i knew all of these joints and yeah this is much i can say about the about the circuit board now we can continue with the rest the first thing you can do is to to take this uh, top part uh, part the only thing you need to do is to pull it and as you pull it it will just come off like this and then what you can be careful about is there is some silicone lubricant here which is so sticky and it's almost impossible to clean with any solvent and so at best try to avoid as as much as you can and yeah and then you can remove this part now we will not need it and the rest is you can take this whole focusing uh, assembly as a whole if I can show it to you or where is the lens as you can see the lens is sticking out and as you can see when I push it this whole assembly this barrel and the lens comes together but if I advise you to to not take it completely it makes it a bit hard to to put it somewhere my advice is push it push the lens turn this all the way uh, after uh, this lens comes out and this starts to turn free because the lens will then be free from the grooves of this focusing barrel and now you can just take this part out like this 
then you can put it somewhere try not to touch any of the silicone adhes adhesive thing and then now you can just slide this lens piece out like this and the rest actually you can just pull out like this then we also have silicone at, uh, lubricant around here so better not touch it so actually we are looking at the modification so let me first unscrew the lens and by the way you yes you can unscrew it like this this is our lens we unscrew it like this and we have a lens coated glass behind it so be careful not to touch it or make it dirty and what happens here as you can see there is a uh, metal part it's made out of aluminium and it has threads this used to be much longer this used to be like this long this this is this piece belongs to belongs to this and it used to be like this long and it was sticking out and this piece is just by friction fit so it's just like you press it in and it just stays inside so you can just pull it off it's not glued or something so what i did i just take it off from its place and i just cut it into approximately half its size to make the lens closer to the sensor as i said before so it was looking like this and i just chopped some part of it and then i screwed the lens back in place for minimizing the distance between the lens and the sensor and yeah this is what i can uh, say mostly this is the modification this is how you do it this is how you take this apart if you have any questions you can just ask down in the comments section if you subscribe to my channel i'll be very happy because then you will support me and as i said thanks for watching